Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I are speaking with the ultimate Celebrating Act Tour, Bill Jordan. Yeah. Hey, Bill, good to see you. Hi, guys, good to be seen. You know, not too long ago, we talked about alpha males, you know, the alpha males. Yeah. But what's this all about sigma males? Yeah, you know what? I've never I never thought about it, but I guess maybe in the last, I don't know, eight to ten months, I've noticed online a lot of stuff popping up about, are you a sigma male? Could you be a sigma male? Why don't people like sigma males? Why don't people understand sigma males? So I started looking into it, and it turns out there is a difference of alpha males and sigma males. And let me just add quickly that I think there are, this pertains to women as well. There are alpha women females, alpha females, and sigma females. Now, I think I'm a little confused on, you know, there's alpha male, beta male, all the, I think betas are just kind of followers, go with go with the flow, do what everybody's doing, and uh, that's what I think, that, that's how I take it to me. I had to go online this morning to research this a little bit, uh, so I think this is probably an AI version of the difference. So alpha males, once, one synopsis of them both is alphas are seen and heard and sigmas are felt. I thought that was an interesting observation. So wow. alphas, as we typically think of alphas, and forgive me for reading and looking off camera, but I've got to read this. They are most influential. They are very dominant, the alpha. Dominant, right? sure. Right? Um, they... Um, tend to be bold, confident, demanding, motivational, inspiring, highly intelligent, successful, and may represent up to 70% of senior executives. Sigmas, on the other hand, are described as independent, detached from social hierarchy, self-reliant, tending toward introversion, comfortable with who they are, they do not seek social validation. They don't try to climb the social ladder. They can be charismatic, but do prefer limited interaction and sometimes considered lone wolves. Huh. So okay. which one do you think you guys are? Oh, I'm an alpha. You're an, an alpha. Uh, right. I still don't understand what your little artificial intelligence was all about there. Uh, I think I think we're all we're all depending on the situation, uh, different versions of uh, either alpha sigma or quite frankly I've never paid that much attention to it. All right, this is this is our being a beta. Yeah, I'm a okay. beta, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so but here's here's kind of the point. I because I I tend to think of myself as a sigma. I don't um, like I don't look to be the leader. I can be the leader if I'm put in that position. Alphas want to be the leader. They want everybody to follow them. They want to be able to, they want to tell people what to do, it, generally speaking. Um, uh, the sigma, how I kind of equate it is in pop culture. When you think of the pop culture heroes that we grew up with and still watch, and I listed just a few, James Bond, Jason Bourne, John Wick, The Equalizer, Batman, the superheroes, John Wayne's <clears throat> John Wayne's characters, to me, in looking at them, <clears throat> they are sort of the anti-establishment loner, don't like authority kind of guy. They are all sigmas, not alphas. Okay. I just I found that. that interesting. I just mm -hmm. found that interesting. So if you're hearing about sigmas, that's what they're talking about. Somebody that tends to go their own way. Um, tends to go toward introversion, but pretty smart, blends in when they've got to, but would probably prefer to be alone most of the time. And that's me. Well, I'm not you, know, you know, there's another term for that. You're, you know, you're, you're evolved. You're saying you're an evolved not, man. You're evolved. I'm not comparing myself to James Bond or John Wick. Let's be clear. Yeah, well, I'm just glad, Bill, I'm just glad you didn't read the word sensitive in there, okay? <laughs> just, you can be sigma, you can be alpha, beta, you can be Z, you can do anything you want. Just don't be 
sensitive. You know what I mean? I may cry over that one. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I just I just find it interesting. I don't know why. Probably because I'm a sigma. I find it interesting. <laughs> Finally, I know what I am. Awesome. Contemplative. Awesome. Awesome. Well, listen, I think uh, whatever you are, <laughs> whatever you are, you got to embrace the boom because I'll toast to that. I don't know if I got enough time left to be any of those things. Live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom and go watch it. There you go. And, and our favorite Sigma Bowl, Arnold. Arnold. Sure. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.